Hello, team players. So, as some of you guys may know, I've been covering a tier list of every cleric domain in this system. It's taken me two videos to get halfway basically there. But I've decided that I'm going to instead just cover my top five cleric domains in this system. Three reasons for this. The first is, starting next week, it is going to get crazy with new content. I mean, we got two new playtest com classes coming out next week. And then we've got PaizoCon and Hell of the Wild. And that's just the start. Second reason is, I really don't think you guys like the format of those videos. And the third reason is, well, I've looked at the rest of the domains, and honestly, most of them are pretty bad. But if you guys want me to cover the rest of the domains in this system with the format I've been doing, let me know in the comments. Just know that it's going to take me a while to get back to that. Like I said, tons of new content to cover. But in the meantime, let's get into this. For this video, I am going to be going in alphabetical order, as most of these are equally good cleric domains. That means I'm going to start with the Dreams Domain. Our first focus spell for the Dreams Domain is Sweet Dreams. Target one willing creature within 30 feet. That creature falls unconscious if it isn't already, but it can wake up when it chooses to. If the target wakes up before one minute passes, the spell ends. However, if it does, for the next hour it gains one of the following effects. A plus one status bonus to all intelligence-based checks, a plus one to all charisma-based checks, or a plus five status bonus to speed. The bonus for the first two dreams that this spell can give increases as you heighten this spell. All these effects are really good. With the first effect, you can make a target better at recall knowledge checks, or if they're an intelligence-based spellcaster, you can make them better at their spell. With the second effect, you can make a target better at charisma-based skills, or again, if they're a charisma-based spellcaster, you're making them better at their spell. Or you can simply speed up an ally, which is also a very good effect. You do essentially have to cast this spell out of combat, however, so you do want to keep that in mind. However, the first two are especially good, because a plus one to anything combined with a plus one in other ways can be insane. This is one of, if not the best out of combat spell that domains can give you. But if that's where this domain stopped being insane, then it wouldn't be on this list. With Dreamer's Call, you can target one creature within 30 feet and force it to make a will saving throw. Unfortunately, this spell does have the incapacitation trait. But you create a daydream within the range of this spell. Should the target succeed on their saving throw, they are fascinated by the daydream. On a failure, the target is fascinated by the daydream and must use one of the following courses of action of your choice on its first action of its turn. Approach the daydream, run away from it as if it had the fleeing condition, drop what it's holding as an offering, or drop prone in obstinance. On a critical failure, the target must spend all of its actions it can pursuing the course of action you choose and do nothing else. While fascinated isn't great, as long as no one attacks that creature, you can make it waste actions in this way. But the real benefit of this spell comes if they fail or critically fail. As if they fail, they must waste one action, as long as no one attacks it before its turn. And if the target happens to critically fail, then they must waste all of their actions that turn. Which is downright insane. This is also a great way of keeping an enemy off your back while you heal or something. I definitely recommend this entire domain, especially if you worship Desna or a similar deity. Now we come to one of my favorite domains, the Knowledge Domain. Our first domain spell is going to be Scholarly Recollection. With this spell, as a reaction, if you attempt a check to seek or to recall knowledge with a skill that you're trained in, you can make the GM roll the check twice and take the better results. The perception check to seek won't come up too often, 
but that roll twice and take the right result on a recall knowledge can be absolutely vital. Recalling knowledge can be the difference between winning a fight and losing a fight. Getting advantage on a recall knowledge check can be really, really good in a lot of situations. Recall knowledge can tell you what the enemy's lowest save is, what they're weak to in terms of elements, and even what some of their abilities are, so you can avoid them if necessary. They say that knowledge is power, and this system 100% proves it. And know the enemy is an even better version of this. It's another reaction, but you can use it if you roll initiative and can see a creature, if you succeed on an attack roll against a creature, or if a creature fails on a saving throw against one of your spell. You can use the recall knowledge action with the appropriate skill and roll twice and take the better results. Meaning this is essentially recall knowledge as a reaction and you get the effects of scholarly recollection on it. And you can do it immediately upon rolling initiative. Meaning right away you can let the party know what the target is weak to. This one is fantastic if you go first. And since clerics are wisdom based, you're probably going to go first. Especially if you take canny acumen for perception. And if you're human, you can get that at first level by taking general training. Another domain I highly recommend. If you worship a deity such as Iori. The third domain that I want to talk about in this video is the magic domain. First, let's talk about magic's vessel. With this spell, you can touch one creature and give it a plus one status bonus on saving throws for up to one minute. I know that sounds pretty basic, but the part of this spell that makes it broken is that anytime you cast a spell from your spell slots, you also automatically sustain this spell. In addition to giving the target resistance to damage from spells equal to that spell's rank. This spell is really good, as giving an ally a plus one to all saving throws is good, and you're getting a free sustain on top of a spell that you would have cast anyway. But again, if this was the only broken spell here, then this domain would not be on this list. Next we've got Mystic Beacon. You can target one willing creature within 30 feet, and until the start of your next turn, the next damaging or healing spell the target casts heals or deals damage as if it were one rank higher than its actual rank. This only applies to the initial damage or healing and not any ongoing effects. The spell otherwise functions as its actual rank. Once the target casts the spell, this spell ends. This is one of the best domain spells a healer could ask for. As remember, this works on healing and damaging spells, which is especially helpful when you need a little extra healing or you need to hit more of an enemy's weakness. Granted, it is best used on healing spells, but this is still a great spell to use if an ally is hitting an enemy's weakness. Overall, fantastic spell here. If you worship Nethys or another deity that has this domain, take this domain, please. Now that I've covered all the spells from domains that I've already covered in other videos, it's time to cover a couple that I haven't covered. Starting with the Protection Domain. With the Protector's Sacrifice Domain spell, if an ally within 30 feet of you would take damage as a reaction, you can reduce that damage by 3 and take that damage yourself. Your immunities, weaknesses, and resistances do not apply to this damage. Any additional effects other than the damage still apply to your ally. This spell is really good for war priest clerics that want to be tanks or even champions. I know that champions also have their champions reaction and good champions have a reaction that reduces damage even more. But remember that those champions reactions only have a range of 15 feet. This has double that range. Sure, it's less damage. But even champions aren't going to be within 15 feet of all allies all the time. This particular spell is especially good for protecting ranged allies that may not be within 15 feet of you. Great spell here. 
And Protector Sphere gives you a 15-foot emanation aura that gives you and all your allies in the aura resistance 3 to all damage. Again, absolutely insane for champions. As this, combined with your champion's reaction, means you can reduce damage even more than you're already doing. True, you do have to spend an action to sustain this every round, but this is all damage. It doesn't matter what type of damage enemies throw at you, you're going to be able to reduce it with this. If you're a champion or a War Priest player that wants to be a tank and you worship Nethys, this is the domain you want to pick up. And the last domain for this video is going to be a new one from Rage of Elements with the Toil Domain. This domain is only with two deities, however, this is definitely one to pick up if you're willing to worship one of those deities. First up we have Practice Makes Perfect. As a reaction, if you or an ally within 30 feet would fail a skill check using a skill in which you or they are trained in, you can give the target of this spell a plus two bonus on that check. You give a plus three bonus on the skill check if you or they are a master or better in the skill in question. This is retroactive, so it can change the outcome of the roll. There are so many applications to this spell. Recall knowledge, athletics, intimidation, and even things like diplomacy outside of combat. It is only on skill checks, but... Every skill in the game can be used in some way to help the party. So depending on how you use this spell, this could be a fantastic thing to use for yourself or your party. Great spell here. And then of course we come to Tireless Worker. Target one creature within 30 feet and suppress one of the following conditions on that target for up to one minute. Clumsy, encumbered, and feeble or fatigued. If you don't remove the effect that caused the condition, then it comes back after this spell expires. Again, we've got another fantastic spell here. Suppressing Clumsy and Enfeebled can be amazing, and Suppressing Encumbered for a minute can help you move stuff to a certain location, assuming you don't have to move very far. Suppressing Fatigue is okay, but the other conditions are much better. Unfortunately, this spell doesn't suppress the really bad conditions, like Frightened and Sickened, but you can still suppress the enfeebled and clumsy conditions, which are bad conditions to have. While this spell is a little situational, it is a good spell to have. And that's my top 5 Cleric Domains in Pathfinder 2e. Of course, there are other domains that are good, but they're not as good as these are. After all, there are a total of 61 domains in Pathfinder 2e at this moment. So there's bound to be some that are really good, some that are pretty good, and some that are just bad. But if you guys are looking forward to all the new content that's starting next week, leave a like on this video. You can also check out the Patreon page for Google Sheets for all my teamwork builds, as well as my videos early. Or if you're just interested in getting my videos early, you can become a member of this channel. Just like these people here. But if you're more interested in Oracle Mysteries, you can check out this video here. Thank you guys so much for watching, and remember, teamwork is vital. It helps us solve problems.